Hello and welcome to Dr. Poonam's vlog. So today's question is again a question by a new mother. The mother's name is Plancy Costa. She has asked me this question on FB. Plancy, if you are there, say hi to me and write a comment below. So her question goes like this, which I will read from my book. Okay. Thanks doctor for the information. I had one question. My baby had just completed two months and I am giving him only breastfeeding. Very good. But some say we must give water also, flannel seed and pudina water or plain water, okay, with sugar. Is it correct? Second question she has is, and how much breastfeed should I give per day? So, Plancy Costa, thanks a lot for asking this very, very relevant question and a very, very common query. I hope you have seen my question, uh, sorry, the video on Kakonache Udak. Kakonache Udak is something that you may also come across. So, in that video itself, I have said no water for baby, whatever type of water, okay, absolutely no water for baby if your baby is on your breastfeed. Why? Because breast milk itself is 90 to 95%, almost 90, 90 to 95% fluid rest all is the solute in that okay which you can imagine if only this much of solute can make the baby double the birth weight from birth till five months and triple the weight later on also but till five months usually babies are on breast milk and it doubles the weight so you can imagine the amount of energy and amount of nutrition that the breast milk has okay so that much breast milk is more than enough you don't require any water for the baby not pudina water neither that konacha udak nor fennel seed sugar to out of question do not give sugar to the baby anytime below one year absolutely no sugar for the baby okay after six months or afterwards whenever you start the outside feeding for the baby of course that time you are going to give water to the baby now comes the question wherein many parents ask my baby is already on outside milk some baby formula so what about the water there there remember you're already giving water in form of dilution so you are adding water and the powder to make a formula so already the water is going there and there it is necessary because we have to mix the powder in the water okay so there water is already going so no need of over diluting the milk or under diluting the milk or giving water in addition to the milk so this is about the water intake of the baby. The second question was how much breastfeeding you should do. Breastfeeding should be on demand. That is give the baby breastfeeding whenever the baby demands. So usually they will feed two to three hours when they are small. That is newborn period. And slowly, slowly the duration between the feeds will go on increasing. So a baby who is five months, you will not find them feeding every two to hours. They may feed every three hours, three and a half or four hours also. Because as the age increases, the amount of milk that they are taking and also the, the, the quantity, the volume of the stomach becomes bigger. And that's why bigger amount of milk or bigger volume of milk the baby can take in and keep it in the stomach and the intestine. That's why the duration between two feeds will increase. So don't expect your baby to take it every two, two hours then. Okay, so that is your question number two. How much milk? How much milk is all demand? Let the baby take the milk. You don't go to count it. You know, recently, maybe two, three months back, I had a new mother who came to me and she told me, baby takes 90 ml of breast milk every time. So I was confused. I'm like, how do you know it is 90 ml? So the lady said, no, I pump the milk and then I give it to the baby. So I was like, why are you doing all this exercise? Just give it to the baby. Baby increases weight. Your, your milk is going enough. Okay, so you need not pump the milk or try to calculate how much milk is coming to feed the baby just feed the baby don't take much tension feed the baby at least for 20 minutes at a stretch and then if the baby wants milk more shift to the other breast till the time the baby takes and let the baby go to sleep okay so yes there are many mothers who have also asked me to address a lot of issues in breastfeeding yes i am going to uh, address your questions one at a time because i don't want to make videos too longer it gets boring for busy mothers like you i hope this question i have answered correctly plancy costa if you have listened to this please write a comment share this okay and whenever my videos come please see to it that you share the video maximum so that it reaches more and more parent population for all those who are not following me and watching my video please follow me on all my social medias which are here so facebook instagram and youtube and support me by sharing the video 
Thanks a lot and see you in the next video.